Hello everyone. My name is Shivani Gautam and I am from Electronics and Communication Department. The topic of my presentation is biosensors. So the topics that I am going to cover in this presentation are as follows. Introduction, main components of biosensor, working principle, operation, variable biosensor and its three types. Applications, advantages, disadvantages, future scope of biosensor and in the end, conclusion. Introduction. So, what is a biosensor? A biosensor is a device that measures biological and chemical reactions by generating signals proportional to the concentration of an analyte in the reaction. So, what is an analyte? Analyte is the substance that needs detection. Biosensors are employed in applications such as a disease monitoring, drug discovery and detection of pollutants, disease-causing microorganisms and markers that are indicators of a disease in bodily fluids such as blood, urine, saliva, sweat, etc. Components of biosensors. So, uh, what are the components of biosensors? Biosensors generally has five components as you can see from this diagram. These components are analyte, bioreceptor, transducer, electronic, and display. Let us see what these components do. Analyte. So, as I already said, analyte is the substance that needs detection. For example, glucose is an analyte with a biosensor that is designed to detect glucose. And then we have bioreceptor. Bioreceptor is the molecule that specifically recognizes the analyte. Uh, it can be an enzyme, cell, DNA, nanoparticles, etc. And this process is called biorecognition. After that, we have transducers. As you all know, transducer is an element that converts one form of energy into another form of energy. And uh, in biosensor, it converts biorecognition event into a measurable signal. And the biorecognition event can be light, heat, pH change, or mass change. Okay. So, a transducer converts biorecognition event into measurable signal, and this process is called signalization. After that, we have a transduced signal, which we give to the electronics. Electronics uh, generally consist of complex electronic circuitry that performs amplification and conversion of signal from analog to digital form. And it is it processes the transduced signal and prepares it for display. Finally, in the end, we have the last component of biosensor that is display. It is used to display the output, uh, generally in the form of numeric value, graphic value, tabular form, or image, etc. Next, we have Components of fire. As we say, components of fire sensors, we have five components analyte, bioreceptor, transducer, electronic, and display. Analyte generally is the substance that needs detection. Bioreceptor specifically recognizes the analyte. Transducer converts one form to another. Electronic processes the transduced signal, and display just displays the outcome. Uh, so, working principle. Working principle of analyte. Biosensor can be explained through this diagram. Same diagram, this one. So, working principle. Analyte diffuses from the solution to the surface of the biosensor. Analyte reacts specifically and efficiently with the biological component of biosensor. And this reaction changes the physiochemical properties of the transducer surface. This leads to the change in optical or electronic properties of the transducer surface. The change in the optical or electronic properties is measured or converted into electrical signal which is detected. So, here we have two scenarios in which a patient has a biosensor and the other scenario in which a patient doesn't have a biosensor. So, first we have patient without biosensor. Uh, in this scenario, if a patient is having a medical distress, in medical distress emergency, he doesn't know what is happening. For example, if, uh, if 
he is having a low blood pressure or sh low sugar level but he has no idea what is so he will go to the doctor and it will be a long procedure to first diagnose and then uh, do the treatment but in the case of patient with a biosensor all the data about its health about temperature blood pressure is already saved in the mobile phone and in emergency a signal is given to the doctor or its uh, caretaker or etc so uh, we can see that the biosensors can be an aid for better information and data under medical distress conditions after that we have wearable biosensors Wearable plus biosensors. Wearables are the objects that we generally uh, wear, and biosensors detect and analyze -like biological components. Now we have ring sensor. Ring sensor monitors heart rate, oxygen saturation. It is a pulse oximetry sensor. It is mainly it mainly based on optical biosensor. So ring sensor can be worn as a ring in our finger, then it is it can be worn for a long time. It is really very easy to use and it is used for continuous monitoring and it reduces hospitalization fees. Only a disadvantage is that the initial cost is very high. So in case of smart shirt, in case of smart shirt, you can see that in smart shirt integrated sensor and conductive fiber grid are attached to a shirt that is a short band connector there is a connector uh, the short band connector when detects any parameter sends signal to either a pda with bluetooth association or a personal controller wireless system that carries out the further process of the tree it is also very easy to use, easy to wear and take off. The disadvantage is that its battery life is really less. Next, the other type of wearable biosensor we have is Google Smart Lens. A smart contact lens measuring the glucose amount in tears was recently bought out by Google as wearable biosensor. It consists of a small glucose sensor and a wireless chip built into the lens and between two layers of the lens materials a glucose sensor and a wireless chip is embedded the aim of this wbs or uh, wearable biosensor is to help diabetic patients the small pin size hole in the lens allows the tear fluid to go into the sensor to measure blood sugar levels electronics lie outside the pupil and eye hence there is no damage to the eye Next wearable sensor we have is Q sensor. MIT launches a wearable biosensor to measure human emotions. It is very interesting and also known as Spectia Q sensor. The company developed this biosensor for understanding, measuring, and communicating emotions. The Q sensor is a wireless wearable biosensor that measures emotional excitement by measuring physiological responses like influ like skin conductance, temperature, and motion. So, applications of biosensors. Uh, biosensors have a wide range of applications that aim to improve the quality of life. For example, it is used in food analysis or study of biomolecules and their interaction, drug development, crime detection, medical diagnosis. It is also being used in environmental field monitoring or monitoring glucose level in diabetes patient, uh, patient engineering, wastewater treatment, agriculture industry, industrial process control, and manufacturing of pharmaceutical and replacement of organs. There are really so many applications. And uh, it is very interesting that application of biosensor as a vi virus detector, as coronavirus is really a big issue nowadays, so this is very important case study COVID-19. The sensor is based on tiny structure of gold and so-called gold nano items on a glass substrate. Artificially produced DNA receptors that match specific RNA sequence are grafted onto the nano items. 
The receptors on the sensor are therefore the complementary sequences to the virus unique RNA sequence which can reliably identify the virus. The virus can be coronavirus or any other virus that we need to identify uh, without wasting time. The technology the researchers use for detection is called localized surface plasmon resonance. This is an optical phenomena that occurs in metallic nanostructures. When excited, they modulate the incident light in a specific wavelength range and create a plasmonic near field around the nanostructure. When molecules bind to the surface, the local refractive index within the excited plasmonic near field ranges, they are noted. An optical sensor located on the back of the sensor can be used to measure this change and will determine whether the sample contains the RNA strands or not. Then we have some advantages of biosensors that are rapid continuous control, uh, detection of transient phenomena. It facilitates continuous monitoring. It is really very easy to use, reducing hospitalization fees. Yes and it is really very accurate. Disadvantages, there are also some dis limitations of biosensor that are memory may be fooled by deposit. Heart sterilization is not possible. Intoxication of cells present in biosensors. Changes can put mechanical and chemical stress on the biosensor. Initial cost is very high and battery life is less. Future trends. Uh, the future trends of biosensors are early morning when the patient rises up from the bed, her weight is recorded instantaneously by size sensor under the floorboard help in obtaining the continuous health and weight of case as you can see from this figure it will look like this and magneto biosensors other one is personal care products greater use of home based monitoring and treatment Intelligent control of medication delivery, greater use of nanotechnology and microtubes uh, that is called lab on chip. Implementation using biochemistry, chemistry, thin film, physics, and electronics. Sensors on the floor will help the patient to avoid any risk of falling, thereby making the patient comfortable all around the home. This facilitates in the coming future can surely help the elder patients. There are so many advantages of these biosensors. And uh, the conclusion is applied to a restricted area of potential marketing. Uh, its limitations are sensitivity, response time, and lifetime. Immobilization techniques like nanotechnology, miniaturization, and multi-sensors. Improvement in the affinity, specificity, and mass production of the molecular recognition complex. Development of advanced receptors, molecular recognition elements. Thank you so much. Stay home, stay safe.